The following scatter plot displays the relationship between the percentage of students taking the SAT and the median SAT math scores in each of the 50 states. Note that the explanatory variable is the percent taking the SAT in each of the 50 states, and the response variable is the SAT math median score in each of the states. Each data point on the scatter plot represents one of the states. For example, in Illinois, in the year these data were collected, 16% of the students took the SAT, and the median score on the math part was 528. Notice that there is a negative relationship between the percentage of students who take the SAT in a state and the median SAT math score in that state. What could the explanation behind this negative trend be? Why might having more people taking the test be associated with lower scores? Note that another visible feature of the data is the presence of a gap in the middle of the scatter plot, which creates two distinct clusters in the data. This suggests that maybe there is a lurking variable that separates the states into these two clusters, and that including this lurking variable in the study, as we did by creating this labeled scatter plot, will help us understand the negative trend. It turns out that indeed the two clusters represent two groups. The blue group on the right represents the states where the SAT is the test of choice for students and colleges. And the red group on the left representing the states where the ACT college entrance examination is commonly used. It makes sense then that in the ACT states on the left, a smaller percentage of the students take the SAT. Moreover, those students who do take the SAT in those states are probably students who are applying to more prestigious national colleges and therefore represent a more selected group of students. This is the reason why we see high SAT math scores in this group. On the other hand, in the SAT states on the right, larger percentages of students take the SAT. These students represent a much broader cross-section of the population, and therefore we see lower SAT math scores. To summarize, in this case, including the lurking variable ACT state versus SAT state helped us better understand the observed negative relationship in our data.